Hello Scorpios, welcome to your reading. We're going to get ready and go into our reading in just a moment. I want to say, Scorpio, thank you so much for your support all this time. Um, I'm going into my third year here on YouTube. And I want to say thank you so much for being part of my life and this journey. I hope that you like the content and that you're enjoying the reading. Hopefully it's helping you along your journey as well. Okay? So, um... Thank you so much for that. And if you'd like to support me, um, I do take, uh, you don't have to, it's completely optional because I bring this to you for the last three years for free. Uh, but there's a thanks, a, su a super thanks and the on the listing um, near my title. If you'd like to support me, that'd be great. So if not, it's okay. I appreciate you being here. So let's get into our reading, Scorpio, and see what's coming up. All right, so let's pull some cards. Scorpio. I'm just going to kind of look and tell you a little bit. This is going to be our, um, a little bit different reading, but to bring you the same. Uh, so let me get one more. Okay. Alright, Scorpio. On the bottom of the deck here, we have the that card again from a reading. If you have not checked out any of the readings, please just go ahead and take a look at that. Um, I'm going to move my frame here a little bit more for you, and then I'll show you the cards. But you have on the bottom of the deck the Reconciliation card and the Nuts card um, in reverse. And these two cards have came up several times in the past reading. So we're going to see what this energy is, Scorpio. So here you have... Um, a situation where there's a lot of memories going on and I said this in my other video there's still this energy where it's in your head in your thoughts the memories are coming there and they're just and, and there's times like you're okay you know there's times that you're feeling that you're okay if you're not thinking about this person and bam this person just pops up in your thinking and it starts to corrode from there I can say like it starts just, just to bother you and these memories of, or you hear a song that reminds you of this person that just like, you know, is constant. Like, even this, like I said, this person is still lingering in your energy. You remember them very well. Like, even though it's been several years ago or months ago, it's like this feeling of, they're just like a magnet stuck into your mind. And it's constantly remembering this person. and But even though you don't have really, you don't want them back. You don't want this not back. I, I feel that. You don't want this person back. Um, but there's still this soul tie, this energy that's just magnetized to your mindset. And you just don't even, and when you, like when you think about this person, it, it annoys you. It, it's almost like a borderline hate for this person, because you don't want to think about this person. You don't even know why it makes, and it makes you angry to keep thinking about this person. Okay, that's what I feel like. This person, I don't see you giving out love. You're not giving out attention or anything like that. But they're still floating in your your mind. That's what I'm hearing. You're still remembering them. Like, and it's not even like memories. It's kind of like annoyance. Like. Why am I still thinking about this person? Why am I still hanging, like, remember this sometimes? Okay? So let's see why that is, Scorpio. Alright, you have here the Five of Cups and the... The Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords that showed up in the other readings. There's very heavy energy here with the Swords as well. But, you, you know, this is what I'm saying. This It's like, oh my goodness, please let this... I need to... I don't know how to get this person out of my head. And this person made you feel rejected. This person rejected your heart. They rejected your love. And 
They just made you feel bad. And this words of energy here, the nine of swords in reverse. And it's a thing that you're consciously aware about that you don't want to think about it. You try to push it out of your mind. You don't want you don't want it to be there. But it's something that still bothers you that this person rejected your love, rejected your heart. Or maybe on the part and what I'm thinking too is you're feeling used. You're feeling bad about allowing this person to use you. Is what I'm feeling with my intuition. So the Nine of Cups are here and the Ten of Pentacles. There is, when I say the Nine of Cups here, I'm thinking about your overall happiness. Before you met this person, you were super happy. You had your life together. You were going places or you were feeling good about who you are and what you're about. But Scorpio, the Ten of Pentacles is here and it, it is a sign of commitment. It's also a sign of investment. And this is what made you unhappy because you put so much commitment to this person in the past and they took advantage of you. And this left you unhappy, right? So, and it's not just money or anything like that. It's about the investment of your heart and time. It's like you became unhappy because you just lost time over somebody for nothing and that's how it feels like you invested so much into this person and felt empty handed when this was all said and done you're like did this person just use me this person just took advantage of me this person just done everything while i was investing and this is definitely a one-sided situation where it left you very unhappy and rejected feeling the rejection okay so going back to this energy here you have the this is why it's still bothering you, still lingering in your energy, okay? All right, so you have the world card upside down, the four pinnacles, again, it's about the focus of yourself. Um, and you're thinking, why am I always picking the wrong person? This person, why am I picking, you're questioning your own value here. Why did I pick this person? Why did this person come into my energy? Why can't I let this go? Because this is still bothering me to this day. I mean, you know, you're Scorpio. And it is that you're done. You're done. But also your deep emotional water sign that is fixed. And you're fixated on getting answers to no question. And what I mean by that is that this is in the past. This thing is gone. But there's still something here that you just can't let go of. And I feel like you're fixated on the part that this person used you and took advantage of you. And as a Scorpio, when you're a fixed sign, it is hard to forget those things. It's hard as a Scorpio to forget what someone done to you. And that is why you're still having this trouble of... Um, or this problem of forgetting what this person that came in as a knight shining armor and I'm, I know it was in a reverse but I'm going to show you and so you can kind of understand me better they came in with a lot of passion for you gave you lots of love gave you everything you asked for and then they flipped on you they turned into someone that you did not even recognize okay so looking at the sun card here in the, the queen of pentacles yeah there's still some so this is something you're going to have to work on, Scorpio, with your own energy from the sun. You're going to have to turn, and I really want to help you heal, okay? And I will give you some of us at the end that you still don't know how to forget this person. You want to forget them. But just keep in mind, you're Scorpio, and Scorpios really have it hard. They struggle a lot emotionally. Because of that deepness that you feel, that heartfelt love that you gave all to here as the Queen of Pentacles. And that's why I said you felt like you were left with nothing, like empty handed. You put so much, and I'm not just saying money, but you felt emotionally this person took all your, everything you gave to them and threw it away. Just, just because, okay? So... And then I'm going to look into another energy too, but this is the root of it. So when we're looking at the King of Cups in reverse, we had him in reverse. 
uh, the King of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You have the Two of Pentacles. You just didn't never understand what was going on. This person came in. Again, if I turn it upside down, you could see this person brought in love. They brought in, um, brought in love. And you were kind of, you were happy with this person. You really were. And then they flipped on you, like I said, that, and they were juggling you maybe with someone. But they juggled with your life. And that is why you are still in this mindset. The anger, the, the grudges, the, the, the had the annoyance that this person caused that brought into your life they pulled this into you and then they, when they left you felt no love and you felt used and taken advantage of that everything you gave them was nothing okay so let me look at something else so this is how is what why this person is still sitting into your energy and, and why you're remembering this okay it's not your fault okay because you're scorpio and the depthness of your understanding to yourself you are feeling it you are feeling what they did and and this like i said it's not about love at this point it's not about you wanting them back it's about how do i get rid this person out of my thoughts okay so we're going to see why Okay, so let's kind of look at why this person is still thinking in your thoughts. Why are you still having that issue? All right. Almost like this person has just crawled in your brain and made space and rented a room in your head, in your mind. There's that Ten of Pentacles again. Wow. Page of Wands. Energy. So this is why you invested, like we said earlier, and this is confirmation that Ten of Pentacles showed up again. You saw me shuffling. Page of Wands. This was a person that took you down a rabbit hole. They weren't serious. They were telling you everything you wanted to hear. They were communicating all those things. And you just kind of pulled, did everything for them to keep that relationship alive. It was more like a situational ship, okay? It was definitely a situational ship, um, and now you're following that intuition. We saw this card in our other readings, so take a look at those other videos that the High Priestess is saying, Scorpio, you know, as you're out there trying to date other people, you need to follow your energy here. You need to really follow um, what is coming to you, all right? But let's look why you're, this person is still in your energy because, um, Scorpio, this person really betrayed you with options. They they put you last. Okay, I'm going to say that. I don't know if they put their job first, other people, but they were stringing you along. And it be, I do feel like part of them was hoping that, this, but it's something about they weren't ready for you. They just weren't ready. Um... And they, but they took a part of you. Um, they betrayed you. And, and getting over this betrayal of not feeling good enough, you were Scorpio. You were definitely good enough for this person. It's just that they were not either compatible with you, they were narcissistic, or they were toxic, or they just weren't ready. They were playing the field. And you were being serious, and they weren't. The death card here is you, Scorpio. A transformation needs to take place. You need to, and this is one talking about healing here. Like I said, you, they took you down at your rabbit hole. They took you, and they didn't care about your feelings. It's one thing that somebody comes into a relationship and they're like, you know, this is not working. 
um, I want to go see other people. They didn't even tell you this. They just kind of didn't even give you closure. And you, you, you can't heal this because you felt like there's no closure. Okay? And the closure is you wanting answers. And they, and this person really just, like when I look at this, these two, they're out, they're ignoring you, but they know, they think, they think they're the best that you can get, they think, um, they were, this is the reason they left, or you left them. But they feel like they could do better without you. But less a saying, Scorpio, this is why they betrayed you. This is why they didn't give you closure. Because, Scorpio, there's a, a sense here. They didn't give you closure for a reason because they're going to come back. They don't want to kill this. They don't want to end it 100%. Now, this is them talking. They want you to... Because if they know you've transformed, and even though they don't know you as a Scorpio, you're not going to take them back. But they know. But in their mind, they're thinking, I could get Scorpio back when I want her or him. And they're not going to let you heal here. They're not hoping for closure. They don't want to give you closure because that wound that you have, those that betrayal, that manipulation, or that cheating whatever they did to you to break your heart um they don't want that healing to take place because that means you slammed the door in her face which you already done it's the death to you and why but you're right here trying to transform out of this situation okay but they're definitely not want to give you closure because if they do they can't never come back from it so it doesn't matter if it's months years it doesn't matter they don't think they don't think they owe you anything but they do want to leave that crack of that door open so when they do come back you still have that wound and so they can say I'm sorry or I can you know let's talk about it I'm sorry blah 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 blah, blah. and they think you're gonna open that door to them again this is what they think now hope Scorpio for you following your intuition here okay you know this person already you know that they're not going to be worthy of you you already know that this person what they did to you it is a they are in your mind but and it is hard to let it go it's hard to because we feel that rejection right you feel that anger but Scorpio when that person does come back it might be months, even years down the road. But one day you're going to get a phone call. And they're going to tell you they've been thinking about you and how sorry they are. And they want to try again with you, get a second chance. But follow that intuition. Because they know exactly what they did to you. They know. And they just want you to invest in here again. They want you to take them back to put that investment in them again, but they're still, as a page, they didn't change. So kind of keep that in mind when you get that phone call or text message. They are, they're nothing but scammers. And it has nothing to do with you. They have no conscience, no empathy. And they don't know what they want because they're around here ju jumping around with different people it can bring you an STD but follow that intuition okay Scorpio that as much as you love this person and once before they're not, they're not going to change they're going to come in and try to tell the same thing like love bumming you or trying to get you back into that trauma again so you remember earlier we saw the Six of Cups and, and they're remembering you. When you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you. But it's in a different way. Okay. So, the Ace of Pentacles is here as well. There's that King of Cups. Look at that. 
Remember the King of Cups works in reverse, and let's sh shuffle these cards. But there's that toxic card, but anyway, we don't want to go there. But the King of Cups, they're going to try to get back in with you and and make you believe everything they want to believe, but they didn't change. Okay? They're going to tell you everything you want to hear. So that's my advice. Listen to your intuition. It's your choice, but this person didn't change. So pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to your awareness and of this person trying to get back with you or someone's trying to get into your energy and you be careful too because you could be one of their options that they just left okay don't fall for that make sure you get to know someone very well before you put all that investment into a person again so let me know what you what you think in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are don't forget to click like it helps me on the YouTube channel um, and also if you want to support me you know, uh, with a thanks, you can do that, and, you know, but thank you if you do that in advance. Um, if not, I will see you on the next channel or the next video, and have a great day. Send in love and light. Scorpio, take care. Bye-bye.